So with the announcement of the teammate experience and the Ghost Recon community digging into all the information that was released, I've reflected on everything and I've realized that Ubisoft Paris has utilized the Operation Amber Sky Rainbow Six teammate ability mechanic and then connected it to a leveling system. Fixit will use the drone ability from the Engineer class, Vasily uses a simple drone shot that will have a higher damage effect on drones, and Fury will use a detection pulse, giving you the ability to see where enemies are located, very similar to the Echelon and Sharpshooter class. Yes, they took shortcuts and utilized mechanics, combined some things and created new content out of that, but I still feel like there could have been better decisions made when it comes to the abilities they chose to give your AI teammates. I'm looking at this from the mindset of the developers. What can we utilize in the game that won't require a lot of resources to create from the ground up? So here are some ideas when looking at the type of abilities your AI teammates should have been given. First off, I think the decision to program these abilities to be autonomous and to not give the players control of when the abilities could be used was a mistake and should have been fixed in this title update instead of doubling down on it. However, with that being said, let's discuss the abilities. For Fix It, we saw from the original trailer that Fix It seemed like a heavy duty class. He was equipped with an LMG and started off the action with a rocket launcher shooting a tank drone. I think the community might have preferred if Fix It would have stuck with this type of mechanic, where he could utilize a rocket launcher ability to shoot at behemoth drones, sentinel vehicles like trucks and helicopters, or gun and mortar turrets. And if the players were given the toolset to control these abilities, it would have made for good opportunities to have Fix It take out his rocket launcher and shoot at these enemy targets, rather than the player, due to the rocket launcher's limiting animation function. Players would seek to utilize Fix It's rocket launcher more often, freeing themselves up during battles and when under heavy enemy fire. For Vasily, I do think his ability is on par with something that seems appropriate. The loading of the heavy ammo and shooting of drones is something that was portrayed in the original reveal trailer. The community is in agreement with the drones on Aroa, so having a team who has the ability to destroy these drones quickly seems like a good idea. I think it was a good place to go with Vasily, but if I were to change anything for Vasily as the sharpshooter class and now having the ability to take out into the field a specific number of teammates, perhaps, Vasily could have been designated the sink shot teammate. For example, for any number of teammates that you don't take out into the field, if you take Vasily, you gain their sink shot ability by having him shoot multiple targets one after the other. Now I know this seems outlandish and would probably need new types of coding or design elements, so that might seem a little too much to create from the ground up, and I'm not a big sink shot fan either, but it's a thought on how to connect the new systems that were created to the old. As for Fury, with her smoke bomb ability, rather than give her a detection pulse, I would have liked to have seen the developers give her this smoke bomb ability, but utilized as a throwable grenade. I'm not saying Fury should throw a smoke grenade. I'm saying that her smoke bomb ability should be utilized in a way where she would throw it at the location of the player's crosshairs acting almost like a flashbang, which is how the mechanic mostly operates. Players would have opportunities to quote-unquote flashbang certain rooms and certain enemies at a distance and when in firefights. The main mechanic is already in the game, and there's a mechanic built in to tell players to move their AI teammates to a location, which is centered on your crosshair, so I think it would be within reason to allow this smoke bomb ability to be tied into the player's ability to decide where the smoke bomb goes off, thus stunning players at that location. I believe these simple concepts would have worked well for the type of Ghost Recon game players are looking for. Allowing the players to control these abilities would have shown that the developers are interested in giving more, quote unquote, micromanagement powers to the players. Also, I believe providing the players with these types of abilities keeps things more grounded and gives the players the feeling of control when engaging the enemy. A rocket launcher and a quote-unquote flashbang of sorts provides much more to the player than a drone they can't control on a teammate they can't control and a pulse detector that so many classes already utilize. So let me know what you all think about the abilities that were given to our original three AI teammates in this next update. What type of abilities would you have liked to have seen been created for each teammate? 
let me know in the comments below what you would have done if you had the opportunity to create these abilities from existing elements in the game or from the ground up. Okay ghosts, that's all for now. Everyone have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Alright guys, peace.